Hi everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Tracy Yang, New York-based composer and pianist and 2021 winner of the Charlie Parker Jazz Composition Prize and Manny Album Commission. Tracy is here to show us how to add supportive layers to a composition. Thank you so much, Dan. Um, so today I want to talk about adding the supportive layers. And just to clarify that I'm targeting more like song form type of composition, uh, meaning there's a clear melody line rather than linear writing or more abstract type of composition. So think about watching a movie, watching a play, watching a ballet. Um, there are main characters and the rest of it is like supporting layers. Uh, supporting roles. <laughs> so that's the same idea I want to talk about here. And for me, the supportive layer toolbox can include things like background lines, counter lines, comping, rhythmic support, harmonic support, and any color texture, range of register, things like that. Some kind of tools that can help you enrich your composition. Uh, so next, I'm going to use one of my composition, Sea of Clouds, as an example to show you my approach to writing for the supportive layers. So uh, Sea of Clouds has this strong melody line that I wanted to bring it out. And the first example here is the beginning of the piece after the intro, meaning this will be the very first time that I introduce the melody to um, the audience. And I want to create this like fresh opening vibe with um, more underneath groove support. So that's a, the goal. Um, maybe that's here the music first, so you have some ideas what I'm talking about here. I mix a bunch of the tools that I mentioned earlier all together, and I created this like two bars pattern. Um, we can see the slide one. And um, so the quality of it for me to analyze it, it's like a mini background line and a tiny bit of like counterpoints. Uh, and it achieved like both like harmonic and rhythmic support at the same time. Um, what I like about this line is that I think it sounds like comping from the bones. And, you know, in a recording, if you pay more attention to it, you can hear that um, I lay out any guitar or piano companies in intentionally. So each layer, like, you know, the melody, the supportive layers and the groove, they have like, um, they are doing their unison thing and this sets each row like clearly. Um, and we can go to the next example. So the second example here, this part is recap of the melody after the climax transition. And I decided that I want the melody to have more colors and more dance. So I harmonize the melody first. And this is to establish, you know, like the main structure first. And since the mid range um, re register has been taken, uh, I don't want to overstep the melody. So I feel like at this point, I can use some like higher register to support that energy. And the two bar pattern approach is very similar to the previous example. Um, making the statement like short and concise. And we can see the next slide, which like shows you the harmonized um, idea. And so the supportive layer here, um, I use two parts, harmony and harmony in fourth to create that special uh, harmonic sounding. And it also balances out the dance harmony from the melody. The third example is actually right after the first example, like where all the melody phrases ended. And uh, first of all, my plan was to have that um, ensemble singing and the melody is going to cover a very wide range register. Uh, and so the supportive layer two idea here is first to create more like a bottom to support this fuller section. And the supportive layer one here is to add some color 
and texture on it, like a touch.、Um, I was imagining like some bird calling in the mountains,、um, as this piece is like has that mountain scene to it.、Um, so as you know, the melody gets busier. Like as the second、um, section that you sec- second system you see here,、um, you don't always need to fill out those like empty spaces. The fact that we leave space in room. For the lines to breathe,、um, that can be very supportive and effective as well. Include this.、Um, I think to have that open box tool, so we can create the supportive layer with like more variety choice, but also like、um, you know you have the freely on rules and last minute limits on each tool.、Um, you don't need to use like each tool like extensively, and also just to remember that ultimately adding a supportive layer is to enrich your composition, but not to overstep your melody.、Um, And what I share today is just my approach to、um, writing the supportive layer. If you would like to hear the whole piece, you can、um, check out the link below. This recording I did with my band、um, during the pandemic, and that's the remote recording you will hear.、Um, thank you so much again for tuning in and staying with me till the end. Thank you. Thanks for watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. To watch our full-length events and participate in live Q and As with our presenting artists, head over to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.